So hello everyone. So again welcome back to a new lecture, lecture number 22. In this lecture we will discuss about another theorem that is theorem number 8.8 .8, which is also based on a parallelogram. Okay. So let us understand the statement of the theorem 8.8. .8. So according to 8.8 .8, it is given that it is stated that a quadrilateral is a parallelogram if a pair of opposite sides is equal and parallel. What does it mean? It means if there is a quadrilateral, right? And in this quadrilateral, one pair, only one pair of opposite sides, right, are equal and parallel, then that quadrilateral is termed to be as a parallelogram. Okay. So it means if there is a there is a quadrilateral like this. Let's say this is a quadrilateral, not a parallelogram. No, it is only a quadrilateral. Okay. So in this quadrilateral, if one pair of opposite sides, if we consider AD and BC, okay, only these two sides. If these two pair of opposite sides are equal, this side is equal to this side and parallel, this side is parallel to this side, then prove that this quadrilateral is a parallelogram. Understood? So let us write the given statement. Okay. So simply APCD is a what? It is simply a quadrilateral, not a parallelogram. It is a quadrilateral. Quadrilateral. Understood? And in this quadrilateral, these two are pair of opposite sides. Okay. So here it is given AD is equal to BC okay and AD is parallel to BC this is given right so from this data we have to prove we have to prove that ABCD is a parallelogram so we have to prove ABCD is a parallelogram parallelogram Okay, so let's find out how we can prove that this is a parallelogram proof. Okay, so in order to prove it, in order to prove it, we have to first draw a diagonal. Let's say I have constructed the diagonal in BT. So we can write it in construction, construction, draw the diagonal B D. Okay. So now move to the proof section. Wherever, wherever I have drawn the uh, diagonal B D, then this quadrilateral is divided into two triangles. Right. This triangle A B D and this triangle. Okay. C D B. You can write. So now. We have got how many triangles? Two triangles. Triangle A, B, D triangle. Okay. And triangle C, D, B. C, D, B. So now we will compare these two triangles. Whether these two triangles are congruent or they are not congruent. So let us compare. So here the first condition is. For the triangle A, D, B. Okay, for this triangle ADB, AD is the side. Similarly, for the triangle CDB, BC is the side. So AD is equal to BC. We can write why? Because it is already given. AD is equal to BC. So we can write it AD is equal to BC. Since it is given. Next condition. It is already given that AD is parallel to BC. So, AD and BC are two parallel lines and DB is a transversal line. Isn't it? Yes, it is correct. Now, for this two parallel lines, this is a transversal line, then this angle and this angle are called alternate interior angles and we know the pair of alternate interior angles are equal. So, just write the angle ADB is equal to the angle CBD. 
to angle A D B is equal to the angle C D B. Why? Because this angle A D B is a part of this triangle. Similarly, this angle C B D is a part of this triangle C B D. Okay. So why? Because A D parallel to B C, and they are alternate interior angles. Understood? Third condition for the triangle A B D B D J side. Okay. Similarly, for the triangle CBD, BD is also a side. So BD side is common to this triangle and to this triangle. So BD is equal to BD common side to both the triangles. So now we have found three conditions here. The first condition is AD is equal to BC. This stands for side. Second condition is ADB is equal to CBD. This stands for angle, and third is BD is the common side. This stands for side. So by SAS congruency, we can say that this triangle is congruent to this triangle. So by SAS congruency, congruency, we can write the triangle ABD. Triangle ABD is congruent to the triangle. CBD, understood? To the triangle CBD. Hence, we have found that these two triangles are now become congruent. Clear? Next thing, next thing. How we can prove that this is a uh, parallelogram? It is already given that these two sides are equal and parallel. If we can prove that the another pair of opposite sides are equal and parallel, then we can say yes, this is a parallelogram. Okay, so our target is to prove that the another pair of opposite sides, AB and DC, are equal and parallel. Okay, so how? See just, see this. In the triangle ABD, okay, in this triangle, ABJ side, ABJ side of the triangle ABD, right? And for the triangle CBD, CDJ side, CDJ side of the triangle CBD. Okay. But here we have proved that the triangle ABD and the triangle CBD are congruent triangles. Then these two are the corresponding parts of these two triangles. And we know in if any two triangles are congruent, then their corresponding parts, corresponding angles, corresponding sides must be equal. So we can write AB is equal to CD. We can write AB is equal to CD. Why? Due to CP. CT or axiom 7.2. Okay, so we have proved that this side AB, AB, this side is equal to CD. Right? So now we have confirmed our first condition to be proved. We have proved that this pair side, this two opposite pair of sides are equal. So second thing, what do we have to prove? We have to prove that this two must be parallel. How we can prove it? See, it is also very easy. Now, if we consider triangle ABD, right? In this triangle, this is the angle, this is the angle, okay? This is the angle for the triangle ABD. ABD is an angle for the triangle ABD. Similarly, uh, for the triangle CBD, this is also an angle. CDB. CDB. So CDB is an angle for the triangle CBD, right? But we have proved that this triangle and these two triangles are congruent here, here. So we can write that their corresponding angle must be equal. Right? So we can write and we can write ABD angle is equal to CDB angle. CDB angle. Okay? So this angle, this angle is equal to this angle. Understood? Now, now, if we consider, if we consider AB as a side or AB as a line, CD as another line, right? Like this, AB here, AB and CD here, C, and BD as a transversal line. 
What we have proved here? We have proved or we have shown that ABD angle, ABD angle, this angle, this angle is equal to this angle. Is equal to this. Now tell me, if there are two lines and there is a transversal line, then these two angles are called alternate interior angles. And we have already proved that the pair of alternate interior angles are equal. We have proved it. So you can write for these two are alternate uh, interior angles. Okay. So we have proved these two are alternate interior angles and these two angles are equal. And we know if there are two lines and a transversal line is there and if the alternate interior angles are or alternate interior pair of angles are equal then these two lines must be parallel. Okay. So you can write AB parallel to CD. Or here also, these two angles are equal and they are alternate interior angles. So you can write AB parallel to CD. Is it clear? You can write, hence, hence, AB is parallel to CD. So, we have proved that AB, that means this side, is parallel to this side, C and D. Okay? And these two are pair of opposite sides. We have proved that these opposite sides are equal and now we proved that these two opposite sides are parallel. Understood? So initially it is given for this quadrilateral, right? AD is equal to BC. This side is equal to this side and that side is parallel to that side. And now we have proved that another pair of opposite sides are equal and they are also parallel. So if in a quadrilateral, the pair, two pair of opposite sides are equal and parallel, then this quadrilateral is nothing but a parallelogram. So hence you can write, hence or implies A, B, C, D is a parallelogram. Okay. So ABCD is a parallelogram. So here we have proved, initially it is given, that ABCD is only a uh, quadrilateral in which only one pair of opposite sides are equal and parallel. And we have proved that the another pair of opposite sides are also equal and parallel. Hence, we can call it a parallelogram. So this is the proof of the theorem number 8.8. .8. You can take a screenshot of it or you can write it down in your notebook. Okay, so in the next class, we will discuss about another example that is example number 6, right?